You've created some non-solid models in FreeCAD and you want to fix them, add volume to them by using the 3D offset, only to find that it just tears itself apart. Some faces go one way, others go the other, and your face geometry ends up getting mangled. In this video, we're going to cover the reasons why that happens and a solution to fix it. But let's have a look at this problem in more detail. So for this demonstration, we're in the part workbench because we're going to be using surface modeling. Let's create a new document and let's start with a new sketch upon the XY plane. I'm going to create a very simple rectangle in here. I'm not worrying about constraints, it's just for demonstration. So we'll take the sketch, come up to part and face from wires. We've got a single face, a single surface. Next, we'll select the plane. In other words, the face, and create a new sketch upon it, mapping it plane face. Again, I'm going to create a rectangle connected to the center. Let's hit close. We'll take the sketch and extrude it. Now, this is going to extrude into a solid. And we can see create solid is selected. I need to uncheck that. But if we do hit OK and create this as a solid, we can come back to the extrude and uncheck solid. So we have a face or a surface and a shell, which is the extrude. We can join these together. I want this void to go all the way through the face. To do that, we first select the extrude, control select the face, come up to part, come down to join and connect shapes. We've connected the face to the shell or the face to the extrude and left a void within. It's still an infinitely thin surface, but we can still use fillets across these edges. So I'm just going to select one edge for the time being and create a fillet. Now I'm going to work my way around, selecting the edges, I'm not holding down control. We can see the selected on the left hand side here, the check by the side of them. And we just work our way around the model. Now we've added our edges, we can hit OK and we can see the fillet has been added. Double click that fillet and let's increase this. In my case, three millimeters, create a fillet, softening the edges that connect the face. So the problem comes when we want to offset this. If I take this fillet and create an offset and we increase the offset, we can see we've got some odd results. We've got problems with the fillets. It's going inwards. And our geometry is not valid anymore. We can't fill this geometry. If I hit OK, though it has been filled, we've got issues all the way around here. I was suspecting the fill to result in an error. It actually has taken, but this geometry is obviously incorrect. That's delete that offset, click on it and hit delete on the keyboard. So what's the reason for this? Well, what's happening is that the normals of this face and this extrude point in the opposite directions, creating this tear and effect against the geometries. How do we know this? Well, there's an easy way. I'm just going to click on the fillet and come down to the view and look for the setting for the lighting. At the moment, this is two-sided. Let's drop this down and select one-sided. We notice that there is darkness on the outside, but on the inside, it's light. So if I move this about, we can see we've got light on the inside and dark on the outside. If you can't see this, then go out to Edit, Preferences, look for Display, and look at your light sources. Check Backlit, and then we can change this, say black and hit OK. And OK again. Now we can see much more clearly what's happening. As we look straight on, we can see the light in here is much lighter than if we come around to this side, the lighting on this face here. And if we look inside, the lighting inside 
we've got a lit inside, but on the outside, it's dark. If I look at this straight on from the top, we can see this is lit, but when we turn this over and look from, say, the bottom, we can see it's dark on the bottom. So our lighting is all wrong. And this is because of the normals. So if I come into the fillet and hide the fillet, press the spacebar on that. Let's take sketch as well. Press the spacebar to hide it. And look at the extrude and the face. And look at these together. We have to control select both of these and look at the view tab and set the lighting to one sided. We can now inspect what we have. So we have dark outer, and when we look at this face, it's light, the underside's dark. So if I reverse the normals of the extrude by first selecting it and coming out to part, and then clicking on reverse shape, take this extrude and hide it. And we'll take this extrude and check that the lighting is set to one sided. Lighting now is correct. The outside is lit correctly, so the light is falling on the outside and the light is falling on top of the face. They're both lit. Compared to our previous extrude, the one with the reverse normals, where the light is shining on the outside, we have darkness showing that there's something wrong. So now I have to swap the extrudes out the reverse strude or the normal strude. So the connect is the one that connects the face and the strew together. And if I look on the connect and look at the data tab, look at the objects, we've got a strude and face. I can now take these objects, click on it, select the button on the end, and then uncheck a strude, and then check a strude reverse and then hit OK. The strude has been removed from the connect. We can see it at the top here. I'm going to click on it and press the space bar. The face is visible. We can hide that in the space bar or using the eye icon and the connect will make that visible. So now the connect, if we look at the view, lighting two-sided, one-sided, we should have light on the top face and running around the outside and on the bottom it's dark and on the inside we can see it's dark as well. So we see that the connect is okay. So if the connect's okay, so should be the fillet. Let's click on the fillet and press the space bar and hide the connect underneath. Let's take the fillet and create the offset. We can see the offset is taken and it's all flowing in the correct direction. Let's send this inwards, minus one, and select fill offset, and hit OK. We now have a successful offset, and we can proceed with our modeling. So I hope that's helped with figuring out how to reverse the normals, and how to create successful offsets. Thank you for watching, and looking forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash m-a-n-g-0 or via paypal at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash darren b e stone i also run a patreon where you can get early access and additional content and that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos i thank everybody that's donated so far it really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.